Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. And we're going to talk about Dragons of Stormwreck Isle, and we are specifically going to talk about uh, the second part of this secret adventure that I believe is contained within Dragons of Stormwreck Isle. And today we're going to talk about the adventure that is the adventure aspects, the adventure elements that are connected to uh, Dozy Artifact R04. So Dozy Artifact R. Oh, let me give a few things here. It's my humble opinion that uh, Dragons of Stormwreck Isle contains a secret adventure. Uh, it's my humble opinion that that secret, it, that secret adventure is contained only in the art, not in the text. Uh, and that secret adventure highlights and um, shows the 1980s Dungeons & Dragons Saturday morning cartoon characters, uh, even though Wizards of the Coast says it does not. Okay, so in my humble opinion, all that is true. Um, today I want to talk about, so basically I have excavated and interpreted and sequenced these images, right? And I'm moving toward running this secret adventure. Today is that, um, that sequencing part. So this is the second part of the secret adventure that I believe is titled um, the, cloaked, uh, the Cloaked Thief's Return, which is Sheila's Return to Earth. Uh, so let's, let's talk about Dozy Artifact R04. So in Dozy Artifact R04, we see Eric the Cavalier uh, with Alina the Cleric. Uh, in my humble opinion, that's who those are. And they're on Ravenloft, and they are, uh, and Alina is turning undead. And in front of her is the skeleton of Red Regdar, the human fighter, the iconic from third edition. Um, and basically, so let's jump in. Where do the player characters connect here? Okay. So first of all, we're assuming the player characters have said, yes, presto, we're going to help you. Uh, we have graduated Strixhaven with you, and now we're going to aid you in returning Sheila to Earth. Okay. So at this point, um, how, how does presto end up going to Ravenloft? Well, that's where Eric is. All right. And Eric is there. And the reason why is Eric's doing his part as well, right? Presto went to become a full-fledged wizard so that he could help Sheila return to Earth, right? It's a really important part. He needs to get this done. He needs power in himself, and he needs to be a confident, stable caster, okay? Uh, Matt, you know, wizard, right? Well, Eric, the, Eric, the Cavalier, how is he going to help her? Well, he needs to gather powerful, arcane allies, and so the reason he, uh, the reason in my humble opinion that Eric the Cavalier has gone with, uh, by the way, I think there's a relationship between Alina the Cleric and Eric the Cavalier. That's, uh, so I think they came across each other at some point, found that, you know, they're both dedicated to the good, they're adventuring together, and they like spending time together. So I think that's why Eric the Cavalier and Alina the Cleric are together, right? Um, they are, they are adventuring together. And I believe that Eric the Cavalier has gone to Ravenloft specifically to get Regdar's um, long sword, great sword, great sword, excuse me, um, and return it to Miley. Now, th of course, at this point, Regdar is dead. Uh, elf wizard Miley is, uh, is not dead. She's an elf and she's a wizard, which means she's going li to live for like six, 700 years, right? And I think she's looking back fondly at her time with Regdar and she just wants to honor him and she, she wants that sword. So she sends Alina the Cleric. She got a lot of stuff to do. She sends Alina the Cleric and Eric the Cavalier to get that sword, right? Um, and Eric the, and so basically Presto is simply going to where um, to where Eric is, right? And Eric has accepted this quest on Ravenloft with Alina and they are going there to get um, to get Regdar's sword. And the reason they're doing this is to uh, make it so that uh, that Miley, they gain favor with Miley. So when they ask, hey, it's time, we're gonna open this gate, we need your power, she's gonna step forward and do it, right? So at this point, Presto goes with, so who's with Presto at this point? The player characters. Presto, Rowan Kenrith is with him, and they go to Ravenloft, okay? At this point, the Presto's party, which I just listed, joins Eric and Alina, and they join them directly after they get Regdar's um, uh, greatsword. Together, from Ravenloft, um, Presto is able to speak with Maya Lee, right, and say, you know, hey, we're, uh, Eric has retrieved, Eric and Alina have retrieved this sword. 
Um, we're now gonna, you know, portal it through to you, right? So they probably use gate, pass the sword through, and have a communication with Maya Lee over these long, you know, over like Maya Lee at this point is almost certainly in Forgotten Realms, right? And so there's a conversation and they say, okay, hey, here's Regdar's sword. And they leave it unsaid, you owe us a favor now, right? Because at that level, you don't, you know, like people, they're, they're not, they're actually, they're quite rich in gold. Like if you're a Strixhaven can't graduate, you're going to be rich in gold soon, right? So they're both rich in gold, but they're also rich in talent, right? And rich people don't really go, you know, hey, I'm going to get that back, right? You know, it goes unsaid, right? Like, you know, that's how they ball, you know, like it's, it's just the way it is. Right, so um, so at this point, there's a conversation between Presto. In my humble opinion, there's a conversation between Presto and Miley, and Presto's like, "Hey, you know, we're trying to get this done. You know, um, I don't think we have enough power yet between you and me, between Miley and Presto. We have this um, party of this party who's assisting us. We know we're going to need to bring it, right? But we think we need a little extra juice. And Miley's like, no, "You're not wrong. You're absolutely going to need more juice." to get this thing open. You're going to need a lot more juice to get this this portal open, you know, arcane juice. Uh, and so what you need to do is you need to go to Theros because there are literally deities there that you can get. You gained, you know, you have gained favor with me. If you go to Theros and you gain favor with the right deity, then that should be able to get the job done. So she's, so Miley says to Presto, Presto's party, which is uh, Rowan Kenrith, Presto, the player characters, Alina and Eric at this point, go to Theros and and get gain favor with Iroas. Iroas, the god of victory, right? So she sends them there. And that's everything that happens in the adventure in sequenced based on what's in R04, in my humble opinion. What do you think? What do you think? What do you see there? What how would you have shaped this section? of the sequenced adventure. Did I get it right? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.